Tupac is overrated. Every modern rapper sounds the same. Playboy Cardi is so bad. I asked you guys to send me your most controversial takes on rap, and we're gonna be walking through them, and I'll let you know if I agree with them. Every modern rapper sounds the same. This is one that I understand why you feel that way, because if you look at the mainstream, there's a lot of people like Playboy Cardi, Ken Carson, Trippy Red, that all kind of sound the same. They got that rage sound. So you can group those people together. You can group like the Kid Cuddies, Kanye Wests, maybe Isaiah Rashads together. But you can't say that because those are two completely different subgenres. You got the J. Coles, Kendrick Lamars, you got like the Drakes. They're all different. They have a wide range just because there's different subgenres. You can't say that they all sound the same. Now, if you were to say every modern rage trap rapper sounds the same i understand that because they all kind of have the same beats but you got to look past the sub niches in my opinion next up rap is an oversaturated genre i gotta disagree with this too now there's a bunch of like counterpoints that come into my head but first off i want to say sub genres like i just said with the other one you got the lyrical rap you got the melodic rap you got the trap rap you got the rage rap there's so many different sub genres that if it's oversaturated they're just going to be people being more creative and building on off of that with sampling as well music will never end you can just keep making rap songs sound different take come back baby by Pusha T or even that whole entire album look at how much sampling there is music will go on forever if you just keep sampling chopping things up different ways once again calling rap an oversaturated genre doesn't really fit in my opinion but maybe a subgenre could be oversaturated like the trap rap or the rage rap that I could agree with playboy cardi spelt wrong is so bad trash emoji now dude as a person I completely agree he's as bad of a person as you can be he just canceled his whole tour too for all the people that had tickets I'm sorry, Kaysen. That's my friend. We were both going to go together. But yeah, he canceled that. Music-wise, I definitely think his new sound is questionable. I think he's kind of... I don't know if he's running out of ideas or what. He's trying to keep this mysterious aura where people don't know what he's going to do next. And it's just getting kind of played out. It's just like neglecting your fans, canceling your album, canceling your tour. He delayed it like twice before it. But music-wise, I think he's past his prime to be honest i don't like this deep voice sound right now maybe it'll grow on me but yeah he's just been dropping a lot of features he's not even officially releasing them so i could see why you say he's past his prime he has his good music though if you're a lyrical fan i understand why you wouldn't like him but if you listen to something like long time off of die lit i think a lot of people can appreciate the production yeah that's what i have to say if you think he's bad listen to long time and then come back maybe listen to feel like dying off a lot of red then come back and if you still think he's bad, then maybe it's just not for you. This is coming from someone that used to like Cardi, but I don't really listen anymore. Next up, I found this one on Reddit. Tupac is bad. Every time I see a video with Tupac, people in the comments praise him as a revolutionary artist, which I would argue he is. He kind of made that whole gangster rap along with Biggie, but moving on. His music is okay, and it comes from someone who enjoys the old hip-hop genre. He's overrated and bland compared to other artists from the day and deserves to stop being treated as a god. Now, first off, you got to give him some respect. He's one of the first to do it, right? Him and Biggie were beefing throughout that whole thing. And if I'm not mistaken, they kind of made the whole hip hop. Like, I mean, you had LL Cool J before, but they made the beefs. They made the East Coast, West Coast sound. I mean, come on. You got to put respect. You got to put respect on the OGs that made it. I know he says he likes old school hip hop. I'd be interested to know what he considers good then. Even if Tupac's not for you, you got to admit that like I said, he kind of paved the way for everyone after. But I could see why you'd call him overrated when everywhere you look, people call him the GOAT. With that being said, if him and Biggie both lived longer and could expand their catalog more, I could see why both of them would be undisputably the GOAT. Personally, I prefer Biggie and his lyricism. You can't just say Tupac's bad. That doesn't even make sense. I think the Eminem show is better than the Marshall Mathers LP. I could agree with that. I understand why it appeals to more people. Let me give this comment a heart right here. I could see why it appeals to more people. It's got more of like a pop rock and rap inspired theme to it there are songs like drips that you know they're just automatic skips for me at least marshall mathers lp has those with kim and ken kenneth neither are perfect to me but the eminem show i could see why you like it more than the marshall mathers lp that's not a bad take i don't think that's controversial either i said give me a controversial take this guy said he never fell off revival and maybe music to be murdered by were bad but there's still the marshall mather lp2 and the kamikaze first off marshall mathers lp2 was over 10 years ago so if we're talking about falling off we can't bring up an album from 11 years ago, and Kamikaze was six years ago. But talking about him falling off, I really want to see where this next album goes. I have a video on it, walking through everything we know about it. But he's obviously past his prime. I mean, he's over 50 years old. This comment could be make or break, make or broke by his next album. So I'm excited to see what that leads to. Now on the opposite spectrum, Brisky says Marshall Mathers LP2 is garbage. I see where you're coming from, actually. I mean, Rap God is overrated, but it's a good song. You got like Berserk, which is just bad. It's like him trying to be a rock star, but he's he's not. 
but you also have some great songs on it it seems like he's trying something new bad guy is amazing but it's hard to just hand pick a couple songs and ignore the bad so i'll just say it's mid this isn't a terrible take the last one i want to talk about is this guy on reddit he's talking about the subgenres of rap and who's the goat he says sales eminem i don't know the numbers on sales so maybe if he sold the most then i guess eminem impact rakim i'm gonna say no i'm gonna say tupac tupac's had a bigger impact i mean you got tupac and biggie can be debated that's not me trying to like hate on rakim or anything he's definitely underrated but no i'm not gonna i'm gonna disagree with that punchline will wayne i could see that i didn't even think will wayne didn't come to mind when i think of punchline but i could see will wayne influence chuck d no influence and impact are pretty similar i think with time people are gonna say kendrick lamar actually to pimp a butterfly good kid mad city i'm gonna say kendrick lamar storytelling ghostface once again ghostface is underrated i don't want it to sound like i'm hating on ghostface but you're better off picking like a biggie for a storytelling song richest jay-z once again that's numbers i don't really know and rhyme schemes mf doom i could see that i mean obviously this is all opinion based i could see why you'd pick mf doom not really gonna argue that so honestly sure I'll, I'll agree with mf doom i can't think of anyone that's like way better mf doom i swear i didn't see anything about him until he died which is so sad it's like ex tentacion it's like juice world they don't like you till you're dead i don't know if tupac was like that i wasn't even born by then yeah I, I could agree with most of this list thank you for watching this video if you agree with these takes let me know if you don't agree with these takes let me know as well right up here i have a rap songs bracket talking about the most popular rap songs and where i rank them so thank you for watching peace out